In the 2010s, Morphe dominated the cosmetics industry. Yet after numerous controversies, the brand saw a significant decline. What happened and why couldn't they bounce back? Founded in 2003 as a brush enterprise, Morph was acquired by Chris and Linda Tower from Los Angeles in 2008. Initially, they sold pre-existing products online and at exhibitions while searching for a unique selling point. The duo took turns attending smaller expos, promoting their brand and even gifting products to influencers, including a budding James Charles. Their turning point came when they broadened their range to include cruelty-free makeup. Understanding the rising power of influencers, Morph was ahead of many contemporaries. While gifting influencers was not a new strategy, Morph added an affiliate program, allowing influencers to earn from products sold using their codes or even having personalized product lines. This move saw Morph's meteoric rise, propelled further by its affiliation with influential personalities. But by 2016, cracks began to appear. Makeup artist Stephanie Nicole highlighted that Morph was a private label brand, implying that their products weren't unique but were rebranded from a third-party manufacturer. This revelation tarnished their image, even though private labeling was not uncommon in the industry. Morphe's response was a rebranding effort and a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill in 2017. Their palette with Hill was a sensation, selling a million units that year. So for today's video, we are finally going to be talking about my palette that I created in collaboration with Morphe. It is called the Jaclyn Hill Palette, which just sounds so weird for me to say, so I just call it my palette, because I don't know, you're just like, the Jaclyn Hill Palette, it seems so like official. We actually, when we first started collaborating on this, we actually wanted to name it something different. Like we wanted to name it like the Master Palette, or we wanted to name it Jaclyn's Life Palette. However, subsequent collaborations were met with mixed reactions. The Vault collection with Hill in 2018 faced delays and quality concerns, impacting Morph's reputation once more. Despite setbacks, the brand had its successes, such as the James Charles palette. Yet controversies, especially affiliations with personalities like Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, led to public backlash and damaged Morph's image further. Really excited to be revealing, drumroll please, the Morphe Brushes Jeffree Star Brush Collection. Yeah! Morph's continued partnership with controversial figures led to public calls for boycotts. Ultimately, the brand cut ties with Jeffree Star, but the damage was done. By early 2019, Morph's standing was precarious. Their foundation and concealer launch didn't help. One aspect of their decline might be tied to their marketing approach. While many brands use pull marketing to create organic interest, Morph's aggressive push tactics, especially through influencers, began to wear on consumers. The constant promotion of discount codes became irksome, and with so many alternatives available, the brand's unique selling point diminished. Things took another turn in 2019, when General Atlantic acquired a majority stake in Morph, partnering with its existing investor, Summit Partners, to establish former brands. Former brands aimed to establish itself as a premier growth equity firm. Think of it like an umbrella company overseeing various sub-brands. This business transformation greatly impacted Morph, a makeup brand under former brands. While Morph initially focused on its own product line, the company later pivoted to influencer collaborations, similar to Seed Beauty's strategy with ColourPop and Kylie Cosmetics. This also included acquiring budding brands, mirroring General Atlantic's acquisition of Too Faced, which later sold at a significant profit. Under former brands' guidance, several brands such as Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, Lipstick Queen and Morph thrived, with Morphe maintaining its influencer collaborations. Two, three, four, five, three, two, one.
like those with Nikita Dragon and Maddie Ziegler. However, it wasn't always smooth sailing. In 2020, Morphe introduced a collaboration with Lisa Frank, but after a failed campaign and issues with refunds, the Lisa Frank line saw disappointing sales. The perception was that too many of Morphe's partnerships were marred by controversies, negatively impacting its brand reputation. Despite these challenges, Morphe's sales soared by over 300% between 2017 and 2020. However, the storm wasn't over. In 2021, allegations arose concerning James Charles's inappropriate interactions with minors. The beauty community criticized Morph for continuing to stock his products. Yielding to public pressure, Morph terminated its partnership with Charles, a financial setback given the collaboration's prior success. Facing challenges, former brands launched several other ventures, including collaborations with Ariana Grande, Emma Chamberlain, and Demi Lovato. Morph introduced Morph 2, focusing on the no-makeup trend, appealing to the Gen Z demographic. However, the brand faced criticism for its limited skin color range. Despite efforts to pivot, in 2021, Morph's revenues declined, amounting to half of its 2019 figures. By 2022, rumors circulated that former brands faced bankruptcy, with debts possibly exceeding $600 million. According to insiders, former brands is considering restructuring strategies, but their acquisition strategies have been criticized, especially after Player, a hair care line, sued former for allegedly limiting its growth to boost Morph. Some analysts attribute Morph's challenges to external factors like supply chain disruptions during the pandemic and changing consumer preferences. While Morph has been embroiled in controversies, not all were directly its fault. However, some business decisions, such as neglecting market research and stretching resources thin across multiple brands, may have contributed to its current state. The beauty industry's overall decline also poses challenges, with many companies shuttering in recent years. Though Morph's future is uncertain, filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy might offer a way forward allowing the company to restructure and potentially emerge stronger, more focused, and ready to appeal to a new generation of consumers.